All right, guys, welcome back for part two of the Halfway to Black Friday Vinegar Syndrome Sale 2021 pre-info. Uh, guys, I did have to take a little quick break right quick. I came right back, though. So um, in part one, guys, I did show the the releases that I do have that um, you know every sale uh, twice a year, the Halfway to Black Friday sale and the Black Friday sale itself, Vinegar Syndrome prints up four brand new slip covers for prior releases. Um, guys, please feel free to go back and check out part one. I did show, trying to line them up right quick for you guys, but I did show, can I show them like that? Perfect. Um, I did show these right here, this whole stack right here, was uh, releases from Vinegar Syndrome that originally had no slip covers, and then over the years now, they have uh, made slip covers for them. And like I said in part one, guys, if you do have a film that they release a slip cover for, um, for the newly four printed slip covers every sale. If you already have the movie and you don't want to buy the movie ever again, that's totally fine. A vinegar syndrome does it just perfect enough where you can get on there, buy just the slip cover by itself for eight dollars. It's like seven or eight bucks. Or if you don't have the movie and you want the movie in the slip cover, you can get it for a really great price of twenty dollars usually. So can't fucking beat that. Not for a vinegar syndrome release, especially if you're intrigued by it, interested. It's a no brainer. Twenty bucks is the the fucking money we pay for some of this shit from Arrow Video, Severin, fucking uh, Criterion, Screen Factory, you name it. Like usually twenty dollars is like, hey, fuck, twenty dollars for a release is not bad. Not what we're all used to paying, like fucking thirty bucks for something. Usually, guys, I will show you this one too because I kind of forgot this one. Part one. This is not technically a slip cover. I would say, um, I have heard it being called an elevator slipped, an elevator slip cover. So maybe it is a slipcover. I don't know. You can be the deciding factor of this, though. But that is uh, Slaughterhouse right there. This is a great fucking film, by the way. I do know that 88 Films also has released this movie uh, years ago through the Slasher Classics collection, um, which I think I might have grabbed that one as well, just to compare features. I can't remember if I grabbed that one or not. Yeah, I sure as hell can't see the titles over there. But anyway, guys, uh, basically, if you own the uh, the Demons uh, limited edition set from Arrow Video or you own the Old Boy limited edition set from Arrow Video, it's pretty much the same. It's just, you know, size is not as thick, but it just kind of opens up so the two pieces actually separate from one another. This thing right here, this box, has been long gone. I see it sell for stupid prices, but guys, that is uh, Slaughterhouse right there. This, was, um, this is the way that they originally released it with no slip box. Uh, this, of course, was back when Vinegar Syndrome was doing, uh, they included the DVD copy with the Blu-ray. They don't do that anymore now for newer releases. I think they either started that in 2020 or maybe the beginning of 2021. No, nah, it was definitely uh, 2020 for sure. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, guys, that is uh, Slaughterhouse. I can tell you, like I said, that box, this slip box is no longer available on their website. Um, I looked up, um, as soon as this thing got gone from uh uh, off the website of uh, Vinegar Syndrome, I went to eBay and found somebody just selling just a slip box by itself and got it for basically next to nothing. And thank God I did because I see sellers on eBay trying to hawk this just a box by itself for like 50 bucks. And it's just, that's not my thing. But, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, guys, we'll keep going with it though. Um, Hope I kind of give you guys a, a good bit of insight. I'm sure for those who are very familiar with Vinegar Syndrome, you placed numerous orders with them and you stuck with them over the years. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, if this is just a little bit of a bore of information that you already know, but I'll try to cover what I can. So we went over the slip covers. Like I said, guys, they, they pressed four new slip covers for um, prior releases, and you can either get them for eight bucks by themselves or you can buy the slip cover with the movie during the sale for like usually 20 bucks. I will tell you, however, that once that sale is over, Come Monday when that sale goes off, I will tell you that, that to purchase that slipcover by itself is no longer an option. To get that slipcover, you have to buy the movie with it. So just a heads up if you guys are you know looking to save money or you gotta you know invest in the future for your releases. So uh, do, 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 do. here's a big one right here. Uh, please note our website will be placed into maintenance mode the morning of Monday the twenty fourth. So guys, today is Sunday the twenty third. It's a good thing I'm making this video because as of tomorrow morning, their website will go completely down for maintenance. What they do is they are adding all their stuff, the new stuff they're going to put in, make sure they put their discount prices in. They take a whole week usually to do that. Now, I will tell you that site is completely off. It does say our online checklist will still be available during this downtime. So, 
a lot of the collectors do use VS checklist. I'm a person that doesn't. You know, I pretty much screenshot everything that I fucking want so I can keep it in my phone so I can always use that as a reference tool. I'm kind of a little bit old school about that. So, but uh, yeah, I, I do know a lot of uh, people in the uh, the Vinegar Syndrome uh, fan group on Facebook. They do love the hell out of that checklist. So guys, if you are interested, that is vschecklist.com. All right, and what titles will be on sale? Every Vinegar Syndrome, Vinegar Syndrome Archive, Picarama, and Partner Label title with a release prior to February 2021 will be discounted 50% off SRP price. Titles with release dates beginning in February will not be discounted. Special note, Vinegar Syndrome VSU releases and our staff picks section will not be discounted a full 50%. Now, this is where I was saying in my in my part one video, this is a little bit new to me because I've never seen this before. Of course, seeing that the VSU titles is not going to be discounted, that's not really not really surprising because at this point right now with this sale, they're only really, they literally are releasing the VSU number two title, which is Six String Samurai. And the VSU number one title that they released, which was uh, Black Friday um, 2020, yeah, 2020, which was, of course, Beastmaster. And I can tell you, I think, guys, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this was either 40 or $45. So there's a little bit of a price tag with this thing. But I can tell you, the way they've done this box right here is great. Um, I'm sure you guys have probably seen unboxes of this. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But just so you guys know, that during the uh, halfway to Black Friday sale, 2021 coming up in a week, well, less than a week now at this point. This title is not going to be reduced in price. So if there's only so many of these things available on the site right now as you guys are looking at it and you want it, I would definitely say go ahead and go for it because uh, by the, I'm sure it probably will too. It'll probably definitely sell out the remaining quantities of this during the sale. And once that happens, everybody knows what that late tax is like on eBay. But those out-of-print prices go for fucking stupid money, I can tell you guys. Uh, if you're a Don Coscarelli fan or a Beastmaster fan, you should you should definitely have this box. Um, guys, on the side right there to open it, there's a little magnetic strip that comes open, and just look at the fucking artwork on that. That is, the camera's not doing any justice. But uh, and like I said before, just like who's who's gonna put a slipcover over a movie inside of a box? That's Vinegar Syndrome. So they even put a slipcover over the 4K right there. This is a three disc set, guys. Um, there was a corrected disc problem when they first released this, but it's all been cleared up now. So if you do buy a copy of this here anytime soon, the corrected disc is already in there. And I believe that's Blu-ray disc number two. So first disc, of course, which is the 4K UHD disc. Uh, disc two is the Blu-ray disc. And disc three is probably between those two Blu-ray discs is a lot of fucking ton of special features. And I can tell you that 4K looks amazing. Comes with a nice book right there. Kind of um, kind of like the 101 Films books. And the Arrow video books that you get in the limited edition. I'm trying to see how many pages this is, guys. It feels about like it's about 30 pages. So, if I can hold this shit right, I'll take that out right quick so you guys can really dig that artwork in the back. They went all out, and this is a great release, too. They worked, uh, I was uh, listening to the um, the interview on Just the Disc podcast where they were talking, uh, one of the guys from Vinegar Syndrome was talking about working side-by-side -side with Don Coscarelli, which was this fucking hero from the Phantasm films. And uh, what a delight it was. And the guy was just, Don Coscarelli was just blown away by the, just by the fucking work ethic of this guy, making sure that this release had everything that the fans wanted on it. So guys, uh, I will hold that up. I don't know if I showed the back of that. So, fucking slip cover over the shit inside of a box. Yeah, guys, like I said, there's the 4K disc right there. 4K UHD. Uh, Blu-ray number one is the original version plus the Beastmaster Chronicles. And Blu-ray number two is the alternate new VFX version plus additional special features. And I can tell you guys, I have popped these discs in right here. Holy shit. I hope you have about two or three days to go over watching the scans of the film and not to mention those special features because it's fucking loaded. Um, I haven't even got through all of them. Tried. But uh, yeah, guys, it's a great uh, release right there of uh, Beastmaster. That is the very first VSU title, and that literally just came out uh, Black Friday... 2020 so it's not really a surprise that that's going to not be discounted in the sale and of course six string samurai the vsu number two it's not a surprise that that's not going to be di discounted as well because it's just now coming out so 
But I will tell you, other than that, though, for them to say, and our staff picks section will not be discounted a full 50%, you have to forgive me if I'm just one of those that's overlooked this shit over the years. Um, but yeah, I don't recall really ever looking at a section that was the staff picks section. I usually just go to the Vinegar Syndrome homepage and I'll see the new releases. You got, you know, your filters right there where you can go from old to new, cheapest to highest, you know, shit like that. And I've always just kind of stuck to that. I really don't buy other labels from the Vinegar Center site. They sell Blue Underground shit, Synops, Screen. I, I can't really vouch for Screen, but I've seen Arrow Video stuff on there. I'm all seeing people grab uh, the last remaining copies of Killer Clowns from Outer Space not too long ago during one of their sales and stuff like that. So I usually only just stick to the Vinegar Syndrome homepage because that's where they got the breakdown of every single Vinegar Syndrome release. Of course, VSAs, VSU. Um, they sell Agfa shit, uh, was that Picarama, um, you know, just other partner labels. So I'm not really sure about that whole uh, staff picks list. So um, that is something I'll definitely be looking into, though, um, to see what they got in there. Because it'd be kind of a shame if there was a, you know, it'd be kind of a shame if there's a, a good selection of titles in there that's been released now and has been out for a couple years. But they're not just, they're simply not discounting them just because of, you know, it's a staff favorite, which is kind of. I don't know how that works, so uh, we're definitely going to find that out, though. I just wanted to be uh, really clear about that. Um, guys, of course, this is your last chance, too, for this year to subscribe to the Halfway um, halfway subscriber, which will mean, means you're going to get every Vinegar Syndrome release um, from, I guess, that what is that's technically that's going to be June, I guess, through December um, at a really good uh, discounted price. I know a lot of people go for that. Unfortunately, I'm one of those. I just I don't do the halfway subscriber full year. I don't even know if that's an option or not, but I can't spend that much money all the way up front. It's just, and like I said, guys, I'm not really one of those people who, I'm not a completist of Vinegar Syndrome. I'm not going to buy every fucking thing that they release just because it's a Vinegar Syndrome title. Don't get me wrong, I love their shit, and I love what I do have of them and what I've seen, but it's just uh, it's just a little bit too much for me up front. That's a, that's a pretty big commitment, uh, especially when I kind of give myself a budget um, every month for what I'm going to play with as far as what's coming out, the releases, how much I'm going to spend on the boutique side. So, but, uh, yeah, guys, I hope that's been a little bit helpful for you right there. Um, I will tell you too, if you do, um, if you're one of those people who do do the halfway, uh, subscriber, cause you want to get all the uh, releases. I do know that I think this, like the VSAs or something like that, they send you coupon, uh, like the coupons for like 50% off of those. So not only are you getting the VSAs, but you can get the, I guess the VSUs and, uh, not the VSUs, uh, the, I guess, what was it, the, the VSAs and the other partner labels, they will send coupons. It's just, guys, make sure you do read into their, um, read into their su subscription and find out how that really truly works because I'm just oblivious to it. I have no idea. Um, I can tell you, uh, what was that I was looking at earlier too, uh, for this sale right here, of course, guys, um, <clears throat> They've already announced uh, Six String Samurai, which is the deluxe VSU package number two. So uh, you'll be able to uh, get that during the, uh, the half, Halfway to Black Friday sale. Um, they've already announced Surf 2 and Television Televised Terror Volume 1, which I'm very intrigued about that uh, Televised Terror Volume 1. Definitely going to look into that. Um, so I can tell you guys everything I'm about to read off, including those. It's not going to, you know, they're going to be there for the sale, but they're not discounted at sale prices because they're brand new. Um, you also got the Cardona Collection Volume 1. Um, so there's another box set right there. Fucking Vinegar Syndrome is just slinging some box sets out now. Um, two surprise v uh, Vinegar Syndrome releases. Two that hasn't been announced yet. They're not going to announce them until that site goes live uh, Thursday night at midnight, which is technically uh, Friday morning. So um, you guys will see those on there. Uh, the two new Vinegar Syndrome Archive releases. So there's uh, two more surprises right there. We get four new catalog slip covers, like I said, guys. Um, I've seen a lot of people guess them and try to take the artwork into consideration of what they're showing. Um, guys, I will try to show you that right there if that picks up. It's uh, basically a pistol in the background right there, which I'm not sure what that is. I've seen a lot of people guess the same shit, though. Um, so we're going to see what that's all about. And it says become a 2021 halfway subscriber and oh yeah, 50% off pretty much everything on the site. Um, halfway to Black Friday 2021 is only one week away, which is technically now less than a week. And that starts guys at midnight on May 28th through the 31st only at vinegarsyndrome.com. 
So, uh, yeah, guys, I, I really do hope I'm trying to I'm trying to be very uh, punctual about all their stuff. Um, <clears throat> I will tell you that um, through the years, for me personally, uh, with the sales, um, I have, uh, for the majority of the stuff I've always grabbed, it's always had a slip cover with it. Um, but I can tell you, there's a lot of stuff on that site that either just never had a slip cover with it or the slip cover's long, been long gone. And uh, I'm at that point where I'm just like, I want to see the fucking movie. I, I would like to have the slip cover with it. Maybe something I can pursue later on, find it, maybe find it in a trade, find it on eBay for a decent price. And that's no big deal. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of getting kind of, I'm, I'm seeing shit now too where <clears throat> a little bit unrelated to vinegar syndrome, but it can relate to it. Um, I'm seeing like a lot of people even in the Screen Factory uh, groups. Um, I literally just saw somebody say that they bought a copy of uh, King Kong that literally just came out through Screen Factory. And they're like, yeah, I bought the movie and I want to watch it, but I don't want to open it because it's going to it's gonna um, take off the value of it because this will be out of print one day. And I'm going, what the fuck? Like, if you want to watch the movie, why don't you just fucking open it? You just bought it. You just paid like 28, 30 bucks for the fucking thing. Why don't you just open it and watch it and enjoy it? Like, instead of sitting there worried about how you're going to leave it sealed because it's going to go out of print soon. First of all, it's not going to go out of print soon. The fucking thing is mass-produced. We guaranteed slipcovers with it for the first three months. Uh, not to mention, Screen Factory is not going to put out a collector's edition release or even a regular release of anything that they're going to lose the license to in the next year. I mean, that's just... They're they're not businessmen like that. They, they do their sub-license usually for about five years on a release... Maybe some a little less, maybe four years. You know, mostly from what I see, it's usually about five years. From what I see, um, just depends on their license and their group deal of whatever production studio they're pulling that shit from for their temporary license. So, uh, but yeah, guys, I'm seeing just shit like that, and it's kind of crazy. Kind of hate to go off on a tangent like that, but I can tell you guys uh, too. Like I'm noticing, um, and even Cody's noticed it himself. Um, he said something about it, and I went to actually go look at it. So, Vinegar Syndrome, the sale, the sale prices, it, the sale hasn't even started yet. But I literally looked at a couple of releases that had like fucking six hundred and some odd, you know, like six hundred copies of multiple movies that was available. And I'm looking back at it, and I'm seeing fucking people on the Vinegar Syndrome fan page site being like, "Hey, y'all might want to go ahead and grab one of these because it's not even going to last for the sale to even get here." And I'm like, "Why the fuck is like six hundred people buying this goddamn movie?" For like 25 bucks when they could literally wait less than a week away to go buy the damn movie for 15 17 bucks more power to them i guess but guys that's just how that collector's market is going everybody's getting that uh before i miss out fucking fever and it's just going crazy with it so um but yeah that's a little weird man i i guess we should have saw that coming though because that shit has been building for a long time um, whenever these companies keep expanding and they're getting a bigger fan base, that's great for them. It ensures that they're going to stick around a lot longer. But there's just a lot of bullshit that comes along with it. Um, one thing that I do really love of Vinegar Syndrome, which Screen Factory should have took a note from them a long fucking time ago on, was that Screen Factory was literally letting their fans come on their page and order nine copies of the same fucking movie. Vinegar Syndrome, you're not going to pull that shit with them. So they're going to release like... Uh, you. Whatever they're going to release, you're going to probably usually get a limit of doing two. So they do give you the option of being like, you can buy one for yourself and maybe one for a best friend. But we're not going to sell you fucking nine copies of the same movie to one person in one order when the fucking thing's only limited to like 4,000 pieces. They're pretty good about shit like that. I do uh, do salute them for that shit. Um, I've noticed over the years too, Vinegar uh, Screen Factory, dear Lord, that shit's got out of hand so bad. Um, not to mention guys, when they released that Friday the 13th box set right there, I literally saw somebody on fucking Facebook show off a picture of them getting all their box sets. And one day they, no shit, they ordered like seven of them bitches. And I was like, and they said, wasn't hiding the shit. And he was like, I'm going to open one and these other fucking six, I'm going to wait a couple years later till this bitch goes out of print. And I'm going to make me some money off of some dumbass. And I'm like, that's the collector's market we're in. So that's great. But, uh, yeah, it's just stupid shit like that. <clears throat> Yeah, guys. Um, I will tell you too, guys. Uh, in case I, uh, like I told you, that Beastmaster right there, that's that VSU number one. That is a 4K UHD release. Includes the Blu-ray with it as well. Um, Vinegar Syndrome does have um, about a handful, I'd say, of um, 4K releases. Um, you know, Tammy and the T-Rex. I believe that was their very first ever 4K UHD release. 
um, that came with uh, that came with like a lenticular slip cover. Um, I think that was maybe 2017, 2018. Don't quote me on that. It might even been 19. I just can't remember. But uh, that was their very first 4K UHD release, if memory serves me correctly. Um, they also did Rad, which that wasn't a movie I was going to get. Um, I remember everybody going crazy about that thing. And for what it sells for now, it's fucking ridiculous. Even though there's a Mondo steelbook of it. I know it's a Blu-ray. But Vinegar Syndrome did release that as a 4K UHD. Um, I don't know even if that movie's even available. I know the slipcovers, of course, were you know limited. But I think the movie might have been limited as well. So they did have that. I know they put out a Sex World in 4K UHD. Um, one right here that I would definitely recommend not only um, not only Beastmaster, which is the VSU line, but as far as Vinegar Syndrome, just the label itself, um, doing a 4K UHD, and this thing looks fucking absolutely stunning. I did show this in my top 15 favorite Vinegar Syndrome releases, guys. That is Deadly Games right there, also known as Dial Code Santa Claus. Guys, this fucking thing right here is great. The 4K in this, the 4K and Blu-ray comparison on this will, if you got some really up-to-date shit a really good player a great tv all that good stuff uh great uh, surround sound system 7.1 you can definitely get the benefits from this thing right here um the 4k disc in this does look fucking absolutely great um that is not saying that the blu-ray copy in here looks bad at all i will tell you that the blu-ray looks fucking stunning this is a great film though and i love the hell out of this this uh definitely broke a lot of boundaries for me right here this was a blind buy i'd heard of it before never watched it and when I got this release in my hands, I, I knew I had something great in my hands. So, guys, that will be right there. If it's not a staff pick, I'm hoping it's not. So that way everybody can still get this. Because um, I do believe that the slipcover is still available for this. Um, guys, if you like Christmas horror films, God, do yourself a favor. Grab that fucking release right there. It is great. It's just awesome. But um, hopefully that's not one of those things that they're saying, you know, um, our VSUs and our staff picks. Um, even if they're prior to February 2021, um, slate of release won't be discounted. Hopefully that's not going to be one right there. Um, guys, I will show you some of the earlier stuff from Vinegar Syndrome. I went over the, yeah, so basically I went over the pretty much most of the rules on there. Um, guys, you know, I can tell you right now too, before that, uh, before we go on a little bit further here, before that site um, goes offline and it will, um, it says uh, Monday morning. They didn't even release an exact time when they're going to pull the plug on that site. But they, it will go down, though, and you're not going to see it come back on until, uh, of course, the halfway to Black Friday sale, which would be about midnight, maybe a minute or two after. I'm always on there like 10 minutes earlier, just fucking refreshing, <laughs> just excited. But, uh, but yeah, uh, definitely get on there, though. And I would definitely recommend you guys, if you're interested in something on there, look at the available quantities on it. Um, you know, um, uh, Click on it, open up the, uh, the synopsis, look at the special features they listed, take screenshots of this shit. That way, while the, you know, for the next week, while that's that whole site is down, you got something to go on right there. Maybe it'll remind you to look up a trailer, look at the special features, look at reviews on YouTube, whatever it is. You know, just try to look at shit before you just, you know, spend a bunch of money on something you have no idea what the fuck you're buying. So I uh, hope that little bit of piece of information helps you right there. And like I said, guys, a lot of people that's really dedicated to Vinegar Syndrome, they use that VS, uh, the Vinegar Syndrome checklist. You know, check into that. I looked at it, at, I looked at it, I think, last year one time, and I was just like, I'm, I kind of just take screenshots of all the shit I'm interested in anyway. I mean, fuck, man. If you got a cell phone in your hand, you got to do it. You can do anything. Uh, you can use anything as a reference. All right, and uh, like I said, guys, uh, definitely go on that site while you can. I'm going to upload this video, both of these videos, um, just ASAP as soon as I'm done with them. Um, you know, I think I've got like close to 150 subscribers now, and I usually, as soon as I upload a video within a couple, you know, within like the first day, I usually get like 40, 50 views. So if you guys are watching this and you get any kind of, you know, help out of these videos whatsoever, whether it's checking the site before it goes down, um, going over some of the regulations, Showing you just anything, like, you know, the releases that I've picked up, what I like the most. Like I said, you can go back and take a look at the top 15 uh, Vinegar Syndrome releases. Um, one of my very first videos that I did when I started my YouTube channel in, uh, uh, what was that, uh, 2020, which was uh, me getting my, um, I think that was my Halfway to Black Friday sale box uh, 2020. And I've done a couple since then. Done the Black Friday box as well. And I'll be doing another video for this sale we're about to participate in. So, um... 
yeah, guys, I, I hope it's been beneficial and you got something from it um, for sure. Um, I do sometimes I do see on these Facebook groups and stuff like that there will be people just asking like an ordinary question and somebody will just be just be a dick about it and give them the false fucking information just to be an asshole about it and really nobody will chime back in and be like yo he's just playing you know like fucking definitely you know this is how this is going to work blah, blah blah so hopefully you know guys that watches my channel hope I'm being very thorough enough about it and if I'm not please hit me up in the comment section if you got any other questions that I can answer I definitely will I'll do my fucking best or you know, if there's uh, releases that you want me to make videos for, showing a little bit better, or you know, going over the special features, all you gotta do is say something. I'd be more than glad to help you guys out. Um, guys, I'm gonna show this little stack right here that I got just sitting. If I'll drop everything, um, I did get this one. Uh, th th these are definitely older uh, vinegar syndrome releases right here. I do see a lot of people who post their pics and make videos on YouTube and post their pics on social media. Um, everybody's usually like grabbing the newer shit. Um, a whole, uh, for the majority of it, I don't really see a whole lot of people grab like the older vinegar syndrome releases, which is a shame because they got some great stuff. But I will show some of the, um, the, uh, the earlier ones. Of course, when vinegar syndrome first started as a label, I couldn't tell you exactly what year it was, but they primarily just did, uh, DVDs, if I'm not mistaken, before they went over to, uh, Blu ray. Um, guys, I don't really have a whole lot of DVDs from Vinegar Syndrome. Um, I did just acquire these two during the um, Black Friday sale 2020. That is Runaway Nightmare. And this one right here is a double feature. This is what they call the Vinegar Syndrome Presents Drive-In Collection. This is uh, Crypt of the Living Dead from 1973 and House of the Living Dead 1974. Um, the reason why I went ahead and bought the DVD of this last year, um, I was really wanting to get a Blu-ray copy of uh, Crypt of the Living Dead. And I believe House of the Living Dead was a special feature on there. But uh, the Blu-ray went out of print. It just cost too much fucking money, which is kind of weird because they still have the rights for it to put it out on DVD, but not Blu-ray. I'm um, assuming they just... I guess they gave themselves a limited number just to put out the Blu-ray to make people jump on it. And once it went through, it was gone. But um, I'm pretty sure you still get this uh, DVD right here if you're interested in it. But I got that for like, I think it was like 8 or 9 10 bucks during the sale. It's two movies on a DVD. It's Vinegar Syndrome. So you know the DVD is going to be good quality. Not uh, some of these fucking dollar bin DVDs from back in the day. But uh, guys, that is um, all region as well, I should say. So you guys overseas, you ain't got to worry about nothing if you don't have a region free player. It says all right there. But um, that is a double feature dual layer DVD 9. Um, aspect ratio of 185.1. And guys, this one right here, I think this was another one. I went ahead and grabbed this one. It's another one. It's like 8, 9, 10 bucks, whatever. The Blu ray is long, sold out on Vinegar Syndrome. I never see them restock the fucking thing. And the prices for it that I was looking for at the time on eBay was just way too much. And I was like, you know what? I'd rather just spend $10 on the fucking DVD and be able to at least get to watch it and enjoy it for what it is. Um, there is a commentary with the director, Mike Cartel, alternate video scenes. This is a 4K restoration from the 35mm camera negative. I can assure you, though, that this DVD is going to have its limitations since, after all, it is just a DVD. But um, you know what? For 10 bucks, though, I like it. At least I got it in the collection so I could check it out and see what it's all about. As opposed to blind buying something, blind buying something for 50, 60 fucking bucks just because it's out of print. So, um, but yeah, guys, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of DVDs from Vinegar Syndrome. I do want to check out more of these drive in collection DVDs they have. They have a, like a fucking series of these, basically. Um, this is the first, this is the first and only one of them that I bought of it, but I definitely want to check them out. Um, cause they do, they have some, I think they got like even like a Sasquatch double feature one, a fucking Bigfoot one. Uh, there's all kinds of shit, but uh, definitely get on their site though and check out it. Um, if you do the filter, when you get on their homepage, it's going to show you all the new shit. If you go put that filter on doing oldest and newest, you're going to see a lot of those pop up. Those were some of the, uh, very early releases from Vinegar Syndrome. I will show this one right here, guys. This is, um, this was pretty cool when I got this. I don't think it's no longer available. I know you can still get them on eBay for like. I think they usually sell for about 30 bucks. But this is a Vinegar Syndrome guidebook right here, and this is a three-disc DVD set. And the whole thing is basically trailers of all the films that they've uh, put out. Um, this was a uh, what's that? Uh, this is their first catalog of film from spring 2017. Um, it's basically a trailer compilation. Um, helps you further explore our unique collection of home video releases. Um, it says, uh, since their inception in late 2012, so Vinegar Syndrome basically started in 2012, which was the same year Screen Factory started um, with their line. Um, they dedicated themselves to saving more than 
more of the most endangered, endangered, unexpected, and unseen American genre films from the 60s to the 90s. So, uh, yeah, guys, I will say I have popped in these discs, though, and just had fun just sitting back with a few drinks, just watching some trailers for shit. It has enticed me to buy a few things. And it gives you a nice uh, book to go along with it. And it'll, uh, you know, for each film in there, it'll break it down, um, showing cast, crew, a um, little synopsis of the film, and stuff like that. So, um, I did look up, I found some on eBay, like, selling this thing for, like, $15 not too long ago. Uh, I say not too long ago, it was a couple years ago at this point, but, um, I got my hands on this, and this was actually a nice little guide to go through to be like, well, you know, let's see what they got to offer, because I didn't know a whole lot about the label at that time. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, that was a that was a that was definitely a, a nice little help right there. They do have another uh, release too as well. I think it might have been for 2018. They did just a catalog. I don't think they did another. I'm pretty sure because I've never seen it, but they never did another um, catalog release for. Um, a DVD. They just did the just the catalog itself. I need to get my hands on that just so I can have it as a collector's purpose because I definitely do want to look through it. But anyway, guys. Um. So like I said, you know, when they first started in 2012, I think they were mainly putting out just a lot of DVDs. I do believe that this is the first ever Blu-ray that Vinegar Syndrome put out because it does says it does say Vinegar Syndrome dash zero zero one on the side. I just got this for the Black Friday sale in uh, 2020. That is the Lost Films of Herschel Gordon Lewis. Um, I grabbed this just because I have seen some Herschel Gordon Lewis films in the past couple of years. I uh, love the hell out of Blood Feast, by the way. Uh, I've said it before, I kicked myself for missing out on that cereal box. I know they got a condensed version of that now, which I'm probably going to have to settle for it. But I should have grabbed that cereal box when I had the chance. But uh, the films that's on this is Ecstasies of Women, which is from 1969. It's 74 minutes long. Uh, another film is Linda and Abilene. 1969 as well, 92 minutes, a little bit longer of a film. And the third film is Black Love, 1971, 74 minutes. All three films have been restored in 2K from the original camera negatives and are being released on home video for the first time anywhere in the world. So I believe that was the very first Blu-ray from uh, Vinegar Syndrome right there. Uh, from what I did see, because I saw a couple of these movies in that uh, spring catalog DVD right there. This looks like some very low-budget porn um, guys, I will show you that right there. You open it up. It actually does have a booklet in there and a Blu-ray. I will tell you guys that a lot of Vinegar Syndrome, there's the DVD right there as well behind it. I will tell you that most of the time Vinegar Syndrome releases do not include booklets. There have been a uh, few exceptions, though. I showed um, The Undertaker in my top 15 favorite Vinegar Syndrome releases, and that does include a booklet with it. It did include a booklet with it when I bought it. I don't know if it still has one or not. Um, I'm not not very sure on that one but when it was originally released just like this one it does have a booklet with it so hopefully vinegar syndrome uh even though they sold out of the slip cover for the undertaker long ago hopefully they're still putting the booklets in there for you guys and i do fucking recommend that release by the way because that is a great joe spinell film that's been long forgotten and nobody would even remember that fucking film if vinegar syndrome wouldn't have put it out all right guys we'll keep on moving on here some earlier releases right here too this is um this is from, I think they did this line, it's called Exploit Exploitation TV um, through Vinegar Syndrome. They were going to put out a line of this. I don't really think they even do this line anymore because I don't think they put that little label on the sides of the spines anymore. But guys, that is Nightmare Weekend right there. This is all region. This is a trauma film. I did have some fun when I watched this. I will say though, especially when it comes to trauma films, I always find it, I always find them more entertaining when you're watching watching a movie with somebody who can appreciate having a little bit of fun a little bit of trash and uh, maybe a few drinks to go along with it guys this is all region right here so you guys overseas i will tell you for the most part vinegar syndrome does make all their releases region free i have run across a couple though that is region they locked i would say of course due to licensing issues and they try to avoid lawsuits i'm pretty sure this one right here is going to get a slip cover this time around which i said this the last fucking two three sales this slipcover has been requested so many times it will blow my fucking mind if Vinegar Syndrome does not press a slipcover up for this. Because if they don't do it this time, I'm pretty sure that the, their license for this uh, release right here is probably going to run out soon. That is uh, Madman. Um, you Arrow Video fans, I assure you that there there is an Arrow Video release of this right here. The first print run of that came with a booklet. Uh, for some reason, I missed out on that like a couple of times. But anyway, I do have the Vinegar Syndrome release of it. And this thing does have quite a few special features right there. I will hold that up for you guys. Hopefully that glare is not fucking with you too much. That is an all-region release as well. 
once again, guys, are way early releases. They uh, include the DVDs with them. That is a practice that Vinegar Syndrome just stopped doing as of uh, 2020. So, guys, there you go right there. I forgot to open that one up and show it to you. We'll keep it going. This was also released by 88 Films, which I do have to release this as well from them. Was this? I think this was a Slasher Colossus collection. But that is the uh, release of Frightmare from Vinegar Syndrome right there. Um, guys, this is all region. Of course, this is another trauma film. I'll hold that up so right there so you guys can see the back. Please feel free to pause. Ooh, open that up for you right there. This is also known as the Horror Star, I guess. Alternate title. Um, I have a watch this release and a watch the 88 films release. This fucking... You gotta have a few drinks to enjoy that movie. Here's a John Saxon film right here for you guys. Um, this was... Vinegar Syndrome Dash 104. So this is pretty early on. And that is none other than John Saxon in The Bees. Um, unfortunately, I have not watched this movie. I remember I popped it in one night. I do remember a few things about it, not much. But what I've seen of it, it was all right. But for most of what I've seen of it, it whew, it's going to be a struggle to get through. It's going to need a few beers at least. But guys, that is The Bees. All region, 1978, 92 minutes. Oh, wait a minute. What does that say? Directed by Alfredo Zakaris, who also did Demonoid. Uh, yeah, scanned and restored in 2K from 35mm IP. I don't even know what that is. Uh, anyway, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know a lot of people shit on this one right here. This is Hobgoblins right here. Uh, it's an earlier release, 1988, 88 minutes. Uh, it says uh, VS-140, so not the earliest, of course, but there you go, guys. Um, I actually picked up this release while I was at uh, Days of the Dead Atlanta uh, convention. And um, I had a good bit of money in my pocket, and I saved, uh, I saved a good bit for a while. Uh, on the last day there, I was there Sunday. Um, the vinegar syndrome table was still there and I went and I bought a bunch of shit and the guy who was working the table was very generous. I know he was going to probably pack all the rest of his shit up and take it home. So he was probably eager to sell what he had left of it and he gave me a really good deal on my stuff and bought a stack full of shit, gave me a really good deal on it. The leftover money I had, I went right back in and bought more shit from his table and still was giving me deals. So can't go wrong with that. <clears throat> Guys, I think this is out of print. I'm going to show it anyway just because it's one of the earlier ones. This was a limited edition release. This is VS-149 LTD. I'm assuming that LTD stands for limited. This is a three-disc set. Double feature of Blood Mania and Point of Terror. Um, unfortunately, I have not popped this in yet to watch it. I do know that I have seen eBay um, sellers trying to sell this thing from anywhere from like fucking 75 to 100 bucks, even more. Guys, here's another one right here. This is Don't Answer the Phone. I think this has a booklet in there with it. Yeah, it does. So another release right there that actually included a booklet. Like I said, guys, that is not a normal thing for uh, for Vinegar Syndrome right there. Um, there is are, there are a few exceptions, though. So just like I said with that Herschel Gordon Lewis, um, three movie set right there, Undertaker, got Don't Answer the Phone. Guys, I will hold that up, and you can tell Vinegar Syndrome put a lot of fucking love into that. That special features right there is just... It's nice to see it. So, fans of this film right here, there you go. This is uh, from 1979, 95 minutes long, scan and restored in 4K from the 35mm original camera negative. And a shitload of features. God almighty. Yeah, guys, that is Don't Answer the Phone. Last one I'll show you right here is a double feature. My buddy Ross bought this one for me right here. I have seen Prime Evil. I have not seen Lurkers yet. But uh, this is two films from the same director, which is Re Roberta Findlay. Newly scanned and restored in 2K from the 35mm original camera negative. These films are from 1987 and 1988. Guys, that is Primeval and Lurkers. We'll open that up for you right there. I believe this is still available on the site. I know it was on there last time I uh, looked there in the last sale. But uh, yeah, guys, that is all region. I'll hold that up so you guys can see it really good. Feel free to pause that. But yeah, guys, that was just a uh, stack of, uh, you know, just a stack of some of the movies that I bought uh, that never had slip covers for it. Hopefully, they're going to release that Madman slip cover. I know everybody's anticipating that. 
Um, I would assume, too, as well, um, Graduation Day might be another one because uh, I thought that film was out of print through Vinegar Syndrome because it took them forever to restock that shit and everybody was out of it. Um, Amazon, Diabolic, and all of them, Orbit, um, Grindhouse, Tampa, um, all, of them, all of them were out of that fucking film, but all of a sudden, Vinegar Syndrome just added like another thousand to their website. So it's good to see that they didn't lose the, lose the license for it and... Uh, they're going to keep going with that. So hopefully that'll be uh, one right there that gets a slip cover with it. I did give my copy to a friend of mine and because uh, he needed it really bad. And I was just like, ah, he loves that film. He's going to get more out of it than I'm going to get out of it. So, But um, hopefully they'll uh, release a slip cover with it. And if not, I'm still going to go get back in there and buy myself another copy of that. But just had to hook a buddy up. That's all. Um, yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. I know the last video was almost 30 minutes. This one's 40 minutes. Guys, um, I will tell you, please take tonight, it being Sunday the 23rd, please take the time right now to get on Vinegar Syndrome website. Take your time with it. Go in there, look through all the pages of their releases, even if it's their partner labels, whatever. If you see something that grabs your attention, do yourself a favor, click on it, open it up, take screenshots, you know, of the, the synopsis, the special features, any information you can get on it, because I can tell you, come Monday morning, that website's going to go completely down and you're not going to get your reference points or anything like that or information through vinegar syndrome itself you'll have to go elsewhere so why not just you know get information from the actual source take some screenshots you know do what you gotta do if, yeah if you guys want to use that vinegar syndrome checklist um look into that go ahead do it <clears throat> but um you know a, a couple other things um i know a lot of people kind of get on that website <clears throat> i'm one of those people that's done it too um, get on that site during one of those sales and just go fucking crazy. Like I said before, guys, that last, what was that, Black Friday, uh, 2020. I think I spent like, it was like 530 bucks just in that sale. I went fucking completely crazy, bought a bunch of shit. And I can tell you there's a lot of shit on that shelf still from that sale. And even before that sale, I haven't even got to to watch yet. But, um, yeah, you know, like that's all great if you got the funds. I've seen people in some of those groups too, like show off their, <laughs> like take a screenshot of their order. And then fucking kids on there is like dumping like a thousand dollars and even more no sales. And I'm like, wow. But um, you know, that's a lot of money for some movies, you know, all up front. But uh you're getting great prices on it though, and this is you know the two best sales of this of this label right here of Vinegar Syndrome. You got the halfway to Black Friday sale and the Black Friday sale. If you're looking into getting something you're interested, now's gonna be the time to get it. Guys, do keep in mind to watch out on the limited availability of some of this stuff. Um you know, even with this whole thing with COVID, plus everything with the mail system, even when Vinegar Syndrome does get their restocks in, I'm assuming it does take a little bit of time. So, uh, guys, do keep your eyes open for that stuff, especially that stuff that's running close to being selling out. Like I said, I've never seen so much traffic before on their site selling out a ton of shit before the sale happens. It's kind of weird because... It's like, damn, like you're buying movies that's like 25 bucks, and here in less than a week, that shit's going to be cut down to like 15, 17 bucks. Like, why not wait till then? But uh, that's just how it goes with a lot of the collectors. A lot of people are just wanting to go ahead and make an order right now, I'm assuming too, as well, because they want to get a box full of goodness in while they're waiting on their orders to be dispatched from the sale. And I will tell you guys, you'll, if you're not a halfway subscriber or anything like that through Vinegar Syndrome, you're just like me who gets on there during the sales and buys a bunch of shit. Um, do know that it's going to take a while for you to get your order. That's just the name of the game. They're not a really huge company with a lot of workers. There's only so many people there. Um, I, I've never, you know, never had a big problem with them or anything like that. I usually make my order and I usually have it, I have it at my house within usually a month. So, um, I never really waited over a month to get my orders. I know some have though. So guys be patient with them and everything. You're getting great deals on movies <clears throat> and, uh, Let's see, uh, what was another thing I was going to mention too? Um, yeah, if you are a subscriber though, I can tell you, um, you know, their subscribers are a little bit more, uh, they're what I call like the VIP Vinegar Syndrome customers. Their stuff does get sent out first. Um, I'm trying to think, is just there anything else I can really go over that's going to be very important? Um, guys, after the sale goes off too, um, so they're going to run that sale up until Monday. Um, you know, and then close it down. That doesn't mean that the site's coming back up. They do. I think that last sale they had, the Black Friday uh, 2020 sale, that fucking site stayed off the line for like a month or two almost. I was like, damn, I was eager to see the site come back up um, to see what was going on. And when the site does come back up, people who have broken the rules and ordered uh, too many uh, copies of the same one 
of the same title or they broke some kind of rule or whatever it is about limitations, whatever it is. Vinegar Syndrome doesn't play that shit. They'll, they'll fucking cancel that order out. And just because it showed up, you know, sold out in the Black Friday, you know, the halfway to Black Friday sale or Black Friday sale, whenever that site does finally come back up online, they will give a heads up on social media saying, hey, we're going to crank our website back up. We do have a lot of stuff that was sold out, but now it's and now available due to we, us canceling orders who broke regulations and restrictions. And I'm telling you, when they bring that site back up online, fuck, man, those Vinegar Syndrome fans, they get in there and they just pillage everything. It's hard to get your fucking hands on something. But <clears throat> I have done it before. I've done it uh, right during their uh, sales, like especially for uh, that Jack Frost slip cover. I mean, I think it was long gone. I was lucky enough to get in there and get, uh, you know, get myself one of those. Um, before it sold out, I think they, they had found a box of like a hundred of those left. They found a, the Undertaker as well at that same time. Um, they still had the slips with them. So, um, those went fucking so quick too. I literally purchased mine really quick. As soon as the site went live, went back to go look at it and it was already sold out. Same thing with the Undertaker. Um, guys, I will tell you this too. You can place multiple orders during this sale and just add to existing order. <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys probably already know that, but let's say you do get on there Friday night. Uh, during Friday, whatever, and you place an order, you got seven, eight movies in there, whatever. So you make that order, and then you get on there Saturday, and you're like, fuck, I wish I wish I could have thought of this one and that one, and there's a couple more that you want to add to it. You can. No extra shipping charge, no nothing. You've already done paid for your shipping anyway for that first order. You can just add to existing order, and you could do that all weekend long. You could probably go back in there 20 fucking times and add on to it. I think I placed like six or seven to eight orders in one sale, different orders, just combine them all together, add to existing order. So guys, do uh, take advantage of that, and uh, don't let that deter you away. Because once you pay for that shipping just that one time on that first order, there you go, you're done. You can just keep adding to it as you go through the weekend. That's usually what I do. I spend all fucking weekend just looking on there, just grabbing different shit. But um, yeah, guys, I, I really do hope that uh, that video has been. Uh, I hope, I hope both these videos have been, uh, you know, really helpful to anybody who's watching them. I do love Vinegar Syndrome. I've bought a lot through them over the years now, for the past couple of years. Um, I, like I said before, guys, I do usually wait till the sales till I buy something. Um, there's a few things here and there that I just know is probably not going to be discounted in the sale, or um, you know, just I just can't wait on it. Um, just like I just bought that Kevin Tinney film from them, the seller. I went ahead and grabbed that one. You know, that wasn't on sale or anything like that. That was just retail price. Um, Homegrown Horrors. Um, volume one right there. I went ahead and grabbed that one as well. Um, yeah, guys. And another thing too, uh, you know, guys. Like I said before, and I kind of stressed it enough. There's uh, there's a lot of people who are not going to buy a movie unless it comes with a slip cover. I've been, especially with vinegar syndrome. I haven't always been like that. There's a few that I've just been like, okay, I don't really give a fuck about slip cover anyway. I want to watch the movie. But it's getting to the point now where I'm just like, you know, they look great on the shelf and I'd love to have them and everything, but I'm just not going to be one of those people that's going to let that dis that piece of cardboard discourage me from not, you know, owning the movie. Vinegar Syndrome does put a lot of time and a lot of work and uh, they have beautiful releases and I'm not going to let the fact that, it's, you know, a piece of cardboard that sold out um, be the determining factor of me not having that film on my shelf or being able to put the disc in my player and enjoy it for what it is. So, uh, guys, I hope you kind of feel the same way about that because... Um, you know, there's only so many. There's only so many of these slipcovers that are made for them. They're great. I love them too, just as much as everybody else. I'm not one that's gonna love them enough though to fucking go on the secondhand market and pay fifty dollars for uh, fifty dollars for one that's already been sold out, or find a fucking slipcover for a blood hook and spend hundred and fifty dollars on it. That's just fucking insane. Um, I'm not one of those people to do it. If you can do it, kudos to you. I'm not talking shit. That's awesome. You got those kind of resources to do that with. But when I think about it, I'm just like. Instead of paying $100, $150 for a slipcover, I'd rather take that money and just put it in actual movies that I can actually enjoy and not just a piece of fucking cardboard. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, guys, I uh, hope you take advantage of the sale. Um, throughout the week, I'll try to make another video or two going over Vinegar Syndrome stuff. Um, I usually do get really hyped around this time. Like I said, guys, we got less than a week away. Um, Thursday night, as soon as it hits midnight, guys, be ready. Get on there. If there's something on there that you're looking at that's only got so many copies of it left, Fuck it, be one of the first ones. As soon as that site goes live, you keep refreshing it, it goes live. Get in there and check out that title first. Or if there's two titles in there, it's about to run out. Get them in your cart, check out immediately. If you don't do that, don't get in there just thinking that as soon as you add that title to your cart, you preserved your title right there. 
and that's going to count because it's not. You got to go all the way through it, make sure you actually purchase it, be good with that, and then go back in and get the rest of the shit. <clears throat> Like I said, guys, I can't stress that enough. Do not think just because you added it to your cart, it's going to be there when you get done browsing everything else to go check out. That's not how it works. I've saw so many people post on Facebook. They're on their own themselves, and they're just so fucking disappointed because there was only oh so many copies of Demon Win that was left with a slipcover a few years ago. They added it to the cart. They spent another 20, 30 minutes looking around the site, adding shit to it. And guess what? When they want to go check out, they can't get the fucking thing because it's sold out. That is horrible. So, guys, if there is anything limited on there and you definitely want a copy of it, you only got so many left, be on the safe side. Put those items in your cart first off. Just know exactly where they're at. Go put them in your cart right quick. Check out first. Then go back in and just look through the rest of the shit that you think you might want to get or browse around, whatever. But, uh, you know, definitely do it that way just to secure yourself with it. Uh, let's see, uh, guys, I can't really think of much else, I, I really do, I hope I covered it all, hope you guys, uh, hope you guys get excited just as much as I am about to sell, if you're not very familiar with Vinegar Syndrome, do yourself a favor while the site, the site is still on tonight, if you're watching this channel, just get on there and take a look around, uh, I mean, they have something for everybody, something grabs your attention, you know, look up a trailer for it, see if you can stream it somewhere, whatever you gotta do, and uh, just know if you do buy it, you know if it's if it's um you know if it's part of one of the sales items that's in these this sale coming up, just know you're getting it for a really great price. I mean, to buy a vinegar syndrome release for fifteen fifteen dollars seventeen fifty even twenty bucks um for like you know the uh, prior releases with a with the uh, with a new printed slip cover, that was a fucking great deals, man. I mean, look at Screen Factory, we were paying like twenty eight thirty bucks a piece for those the Arrow Limited Editions and stuff like that, some of their uh, individual releases, to get a boutique label release for like 15 17 50 20 bucks, That's that, those are fair enough prices for the work that these guys are putting into this shit, and uh, that's why I support them. But, uh, but yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the videos. Please uh, feel free to uh, contact me any way you want to. Guys, you can look me up on Facebook. It's just Johnny Walker. Um, look me up on there. You'll see my picture. Um, if you're not looking at a bunch of bottle of booze first, um, anyway, oh, um, hit me up in the comments section, guys, if you want me to make a video doing um, an overview of my whole collection. Again, be more than happy to do that this week. Um, like I said, guys, right before these sales come up, I get very excited about shit like that. Like even the Screen Factory October, the October sale, Love is in the Scare sale. I always get excited right before these sales pop off, and I'm usually going through my whole collection looking at stuff. I'm looking at the site to see what else I want to get and try to have like a plan in place. So it always works so much better. And I, it, it usually does. I used to get excited enough where it works so much better for me if I have a plan in place of, I definitely want this, this is a maybe. And that way I can kind of control what I'm going to spend. Sometimes that works and sometimes I just go fucking crazy and I click on too much shit. But, um, but yeah, guys, hit me up in the comment section if you need any help with anything. Uh, if you want any insight on a special feature on one of the releases, what does the scan look like for, you know, whatever release... Um, you know, an overview video, whatever, hit me up, and I'll be more than glad to make one for you, give you a shout-out and all that good stuff. But, guys, for all you guys who are watching this tonight, please take advantage of that, getting on that site while it's still up because that bitch is going to go down tomorrow morning. You're not going to be able to get back on it, and I want you guys to be able to look at it for yourselves, be able to read the synopsis, the special features, and everything that Vinegar Syndrome site has to offer. So, uh, but yeah, guys, hope it's, uh, hope it's been helpful for you, and uh, until next time, stay safe. Be careful.